Rated T for Teen. Blacklight, the world, takes place in a fictional city called Balak. Basically, Eastern European city, somewhat based on Budapest. What we really wanted to do was have a historical backdrop to the world where there's a lot of old architecture and a lot of history. And then you sort of like overlay on top of this, this mass advertising, this mass technology, this mass disrespect for the past on some level. And it's kind of depressing, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Net warfare is what we foresee with the new technologies that are happening. I actually read an article a while ago that was talking about how the problem with uh, battlefields today is not lack of information, it's too much information. Building on that sort of concept, there's this, there's this whole sort of information warfare system going on. And that's kind of what the net war is. It's the existence of technology that, that takes advantage of all this information on the battlefield to further augment the soldier's ability to effectively take out his enemy. The visual style of Blacklight is really based off of European architecture as well as the architecture in Pioneer Square itself. We took that and we added the fantastic elements of the overbuild. As far as the characters and the weapons themselves, we used a lot of technologies that are existing in other ways, such as the reactive armor on the characters themselves. We saw that military tanks are using this armor system and we put it onto the characters and kind of high-teched it out. So we're using a lot of the systems that we're seeing and kind of revamping and reusing the, the objects into a new and more imaginative ways. You know, when we first started looking into this game, we went out and basically looked for cool environments. You know, like one of the first things we looked at were like canals. Thinking in Eastern Europe, either drained or there's low-lying water, and how would that impact into like level routes and things along those lines. And we definitely work from a perspective of gameplay first. It's actually pretty impressive because I think our levels look so dang good. You know, we did build those up from a white box perspective where it wasn't like, okay, this is a cool environment, let's build this environment and then incorporate fun into it. It was like, let's take an environment that will work well for what we want to accomplish in terms of fun. And you know, taking the canal example, you know, you can have bridges, you can have underpasses, you have all these different level routes and then let's build on top of it and make it look awesome. The HUD with uh, Blacklight is the idea that you're looking through a visor. That's why when someone throws a normally a flashbang grenade, it actually EMPs the visor. And so you can't see because of these reasons. What we did was reimagine the visor and the technology behind it. In, in all the modes, the player has the ability to use the HRV, which is the hyper-reality visor, and that allows them to see through walls, essentially. It's almost like a cheat, and that was one of my biggest concerns in making these maps. But in the end, we got it in the game, we tested it, we limit the player how much they can use it so it's not unbalanced. What it does, two things. It helps new players find their way around the map, which is great. You can spawn in, and if you've never been in a map, you can put that thing down, and you can go, the action's over there, and I can go over there. And then once you've learned the map, now you can start to use it a little more tactically. You can be like, oh, well, I'm going around this corner, bam. There's someone over there, maybe they're moving over there, and flip it back up. You can't fire while it's down. That's kind of how we balanced it. What separates Blacklight from other shooters is I believe the gameplay itself is different. The HRV in particular, everyone has complete awareness of what's going on in the world, even if they are not around it. The weapon customization itself, allowing players to tune their weapons almost to a, a new level and makes them uh, change their gameplay as well. As well as the fact that the game is a, a DLC exclusive game. We are doing things that most people are charging $60 for, but we we are really believing in DLC and, and decided to do it as a DLC game. The future of warfare is just around the corner. Download Blacklight Tango Down this summer on PlayStation Network, Xbox Live Arcade, and PC.